Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll talk about how to fix a frozen iPhone. When your iPhone screen is frozen, it might be stuck on a specific screen or at the midway of progress. For example, you might find your iPhone screen frozen on the start screen, an app page, a lock screen, Apple logo screen, during the update, and so on. When having a frozen screen, no matter how you touch, tap, or swipe the display or how you press the buttons, your iPhone doesn't respond to anything. If this is your case, keep watching and we'll show you what causes the display to freeze and how to fix a frozen iPhone screen. First, let's quickly go through why your iPhone is frozen and unresponsive. It's hard to tell you what exactly causes your iPhone to freeze. Depending on different scenarios, it can be boiled down to the following reasons. You could have a large amount of cash on your iPhone. You could have a draining battery. You could install conflicting apps. You could be out of storage on your device. You could run an old version of iOS software. You could have a hardware problem. Now, follow me to try the troubleshooting steps below to fix a frozen or unresponsive iPhone. Don't worry if you're a novice of digital devices or a new iPhone user. We'll introduce all the methods step by step, making it easy to learn how to unfreeze a stuck iPhone with or without a computer. Besides, if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. 1. Restart iPhone. Like all portable devices, unfreezing the iPhone frozen touchscreen is as simple as doing a restart. This step is obvious but sometimes it's like a magic to get your unresponsive device running again. All your data will be kept safe, so feel free to try it. If you're using an iPhone 10, 11, or later iPhone models, do this to restart your iPhone. Press and hold the volume up or down button and the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 8 or older iPhone models, do this to restart your iPhone. Press and hold the side button until the power off slider appears. Drag the slider to the right and wait 30 seconds for your device to turn off. To turn your device back on, Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. 2. Force restart iPhone with buttons only. Freezing issues may arise if there are some system errors hidden on your phone. If a restart fails to fix a frozen iPhone screen, try to force restart your device. If you're using an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you're using an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the volume down button and the side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If you're using iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. Hope this trick helps unfreeze iPhone screen and get it running again. 3. What to do if force restart works but frozen screen issues happen again? Before heading to advanced troubleshooting methods, there are still three simple tricks you can do by yourself. Step 1. Charge. Always ensure that your iPhone has at least 20% battery left so that all the apps and settings can run smoothly. If the battery is low, your device will start getting stuck, laggy, and as a result, freezing and won't respond to touch or tap. Step 2. Free up storage space. If you notice that your iPhone is frozen and won't power off, it's possible that there isn't enough storage space for it to trigger the power off slider. You can delete unused videos, photos, and browser history to free up more memory. Step 3. Delete problematic apps. If your iPhone screen is frozen and can't open one specific app, go and remove it. On the home screen, press and hold the app you want to delete. Tap remove app. Tap delete app. Tap delete to confirm. 4. Update iOS to its latest version. Yes, it could happen that your iPhone screen is frozen and a restart or a forced restart doesn't fix it. It may be because your operating system is outdated. Here's how to update your iPhone when it freezes up. These steps work for all kinds of iPhone models. You can also try this method when your iPhone frozen won't turn off. Get your freezing phone and a working USB cable. Get a Windows or a Mac laptop or desktop. Download iTunes or Finder application on your computer. Once you've prepared everything, now let's start. Run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Depending on your iPhone model, 
you'll need to follow different steps to enter recovery mode. For iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. For iPhone 6s and earlier models, press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. Once your iPhone is in recovery mode, iTunes or Finder will detect it and prompt you to update or restore your device. Choose the update option to download and install the latest available iOS version. The process might take a very long time, but it's worth it. Once done, let your iPhone restart. Now, you should unfreeze your iPhone and get it back in working order. 5. Wipe Clean iPhone What if your iPhone screen is frozen and a force restart and update fail to work? You have two options. One is to wipe clean the device and set it up from scratch. The other one is to go to seek professional's help. If you don't have a backup of your frozen iPhone and you don't want to lose data, try the update method two or three times or turn to the Apple Repair Center. If you've backed up all the essential data on your phone, follow the steps below to factory reset the device to unfreeze it. Run iTunes or Finder on your computer. Use a USB cable to connect your iPhone to a computer. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter recovery mode. For my iPhone 11, I'll need to press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. Now, when you see this dialog box on your computer, choose the restore option to erase all data and settings on your iPhone and restore it to its factory settings. Wait for the restore process to complete. Maybe one hour, maybe three hours. After the restore is complete, your iPhone should restart and prompt you to go through the initial setup process. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up your device. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix a frozen iPhone. We sincerely hope that the troubleshooting steps we've shared have been effective in resolving your issue. Remember, if you ever encounter any issues with your iPhone or any other device, don't hesitate to seek help in Cora Radar. Thank you for watching, and we wish you the best of luck in getting your iPhone back in working condition. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.